People are very different beasts depending on what day it is. This beautiful woman sitting beside me, drops her fork on the floor in the restaurant, demands a new one. Well, yeah. Other days, you wouldn't believe what she's sticking in her mouth. I mean, I've just seen her eat mushrooms out in the woods. What I'm saying, listen, <laughs> Don Farmer, we very much appreciate you sending these along. He sent them by way of Nick Edward. If you happen to be interested in purchasing this knife or one like it, you go to DNK Knives. Go to Behind the Edge, and uh, he's got a code. I believe it's Behind the Edge 10. I can just spell it out, and uh, you'll get 10% off. Uh, that's DNK Knives. Pause this if you want to. <laughs> Don't pause it there. Yeah. Pause this if you want to scan that. Or if you like to call him or send him a text message or an email. That's BK Knives, Don Farmer. Excellent dude. Uh, been in the knife community ever since, I, I mean, probably longer than I have. I've, uh, I've, I've seen Don's name around since we started the channel. He's a super cool dude. Um, Anyway, he asked uh, Nick, hey, do you know those Apex Alchemy people? They always comment on your stuff. He said, yeah, I know them. He's like, you think they'd want to check out some of these knives? He was like, I'm sure they'd be very excited to check out some of your knives. He was like, well, when you get done with that batch, send them over to him or them. And uh, and Nick said, okay, cool. And he did so. So we got we got the QSP Hornbill here. And it does come in some different color <coughs> configurations. Yeah. On the scales. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's one that's like orange or it's kind of like yellow. an orangey yellow and yeah. black or whatever. It's like and mustard. It, mustard's a good, yeah. Yeah, mustard's a really good way to describe that. This knife has like extremely good action. It's about 160 bucks. It's an S35VN. The Rockwell should be like 58 to 60 or 59 to 61, one or the other. So what, you know, however much that's worth to you. Uh, like a, it's got a mill pocket clip, and by the way, I'm S35VN, really close to CPM 154. Um, I think it's a great outdoor steel. You know, like my, personally, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not scared of a lower heat treat on it. Mill pocket pocket clip, kind of short, not quite deep, deep, but not exactly shallow either. Does have milled out stainless steel liners. I believe they're stainless steel. I don't have a, I don't have a magnet. Already, One though. second. Okay. Yeah, stainless steel. Liners. Uh, a titanium pocket clip. Not magnetic anyway. Courtney, what do you reckon this is? Uh, For the pocket clip, maybe? No. No? What is that? It looks like it was almost a button lock. Oh. Or something like that, you know. But it's on both sides, so I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if they they thought about making it a button lock and then they decided not to, but they didn't change something in the machine when they started making the scales. I made the scales and was like, uh oh, to hell with it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't right. know. QSP is not a company I'm very familiar with. That is not by accident. Um, uh, the, but I, I've laid my feelings about that to the side because the, I mean, like, long story short, man, EMP EDC uh, had a knife come out. I can't remember the, what, what was the first, what was the first knife he came out with? He used QSP as the, the designer or the, the oh, yeah. OEM, yes, and um, and it was uh, it was it was a success. The second knife he came out with, uh, or one of the latest knives, the relative. Uh, he went to QSP. They couldn't strike a deal, so he uh, he went with Best Tech or somebody else. He went with somebody else, and QSP came out with a knife called the Rhino, which is the same. Looks much. very identical to me, uh, but it doesn't seem to bother that dude. So why should it bother me? Right. You know, but uh, that was uh, that was that was the reason why I've kind of steered clear of, uh, of QSP myself. But man, that. Uh, yeah, at the end of the day, now this is why I started out like you know the way I the way I did because like I, I'm I could I could review this with you know like you know I could be two different people while right. reviewing this knife yeah. right you know and 
Um, the one that, that's got that at the forefront of your mind or the one that lets it go to the back and just, just evaluate the knife? Yeah, just evaluate the knife. That's what I'm going to do here. Uh, and the knife is built well. It's got a great balance. It The action is, is nice. It's on, I want to say, I, I believe it's on phosphor bronze washers, but it it does feel like it may be on bearings. I'm not sure because I didn't do any homework. Uh, but it, it flips great. Reverse uh, it flips. It had three methods of... Yeah. If, it has three methods of deployment if you can do the... the the, front, the flip. front flip thing. I'm not a great front flipper. Uh, it's a slow roll if I'm front flipping. Yeah. <laughs> which is not always a bad thing. You know, like, I mean, it's it's nice to have a slow roll option, which I guess you could always slow roll with a thumb, thumb stud as well. But uh, to me, you want to get it out fast, do one of those flip options, and you want to roll it out slow, just use the, the front flipper. Like I said, it's S35 VN, got a nice spotty hole here, or whatever you want to call it, uh, the opening hole. The jimping falls at a great location. You also got a thumb ramp here, like a, almost like a harpoon. So if you choke up in that finger choil, that's very generously given. Your finger lands in a nice location. Have, you want to handle it? Yeah, I think, I think for me, it, it like I'm, my my best option would be on the jimping whenever I'm on the finger tool. Okay, like it, it gets a little, gets a little weird, little awkward for okay. me to hold it up there. But I've got <clears throat> very different size hands, but it works well like that for me. I feel like I've got a good, good hold on it. How many inches do you think that knife is? Uh. Just under seven, maybe? Just under seven, okay. That's seven and a half? All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's do some size comparisons. Although, while we're picking out some knobs, go ahead and pick out some knobs. The blade length is about three and a half. Little shy of three and a half, going all the way back to the handle, and the cutting edge is about two and three quarter. You know, maybe a little bit more than two and three quarter on the cutting edge. Paramilitary two, rat one. RSK. Mini. mini or mini RSK. We didn't mention this in the video, but uh, when we did a video on this knife, somebody was gracious enough to let us know that this knife is more akin to the the mini freak uh, than and they did so in the comments. Very much appreciate that. Can't remember who you are. Sorry. Um, I mean, I know the guy. I've, I've talked to him right, several times. I just can't I, I, recall who it was right, right now. And that's uh, that's that's valuable information. Uh, so I don't own a mini freak or a grip to him. But it wasn't Salamando, was it? It could have been Salamando. He's, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's one of the ones that tends to be on his game when it comes to, uh, info. Okay, man. Um, I like it. You know, I mean, there's, it's, it's G10, very nicely machined. Not, you know, all this stuff like creates a great environment for grip. It looks like sunbeams. It does kind of look like sunbeams. <laughs> Jesus didn't want me as a sunbeam. <laughs> sunbeams are never quite like me. Especially with this little part that they've got there. Oh, it, it literally looks like The rays. beams are coming out of the sun. <laughs> a square sun. Yeah, uh, well, kind of. It's rounded edges, so not rounded quite square. edges, and yeah, kind of a squarish <laughs> rounded edge sign. That's what it is. Whatever that is, that's where the yeah. It's, I mean, that's 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 what's going on. So it's, this is this is art. This is, it needs to be a a, a plan a button lock. No, that's that's incorrect. That's <laughs> that's where the rays are coming from. Because Courtney said so. Ah uh, well, <laughs> you know I do like the the design. The, the like the, the the branding logo on the pivot on this side, uh, 
I think that's going to be a T8. That's, yeah, I was thinking it looks smaller in a T10. That's a T10. It is. And that's going to be T8 and the T6 on the bodies, on the body screws. And probably T6 on the pocket clip screws too. I do very much enjoy this pocket clip. It works. It's functional. It, it's not too tight. Minimal. It's not too loose. You're, uh, you're not going to get snagged. You're not going to lose a knife, you know, uh, to a duffel bag or any netting. I did mention the weight relief, didn't I? Yes. <clears throat> On the inside, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that. Milled out. Yeah, it's all milled out. Speaking of weight relief. Let's check out the weight. It's like a fidget monster, too, man. It reminds me of that Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. Three point eight ounces. I like it. I do. I like it. Will I buy one? I don't. I don't know. But I do like it. It's got a good shape to it. It's very comfortable. No hot spots to find. No hot spots to mention. Very much appreciate Don sending this along for us to be able to uh, uh, check out. Yeah, probably wouldn't have. No. Had our hands on a QSP any other way. No. I, I I wouldn't have um, myself. Uh, I mean, like I think the Hansons make it by QSP. Is that right? Uh, yes. Crispy Donut Community. Yeah. That one. Yeah. So that's the only QSP we have in the house, I believe. I believe. I think that's a QSP. Correct us in the comments if we're wrong. I believe that's who they said it was. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah, I think so too. But right around the time we were doing that uh, review, we were doing some of Dopey's knives, and Dopey may have had something. No, I'm thinking, I, I remember him saying it while I was at the booth. Okay, 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 yeah. cool, cool. But yeah, so that's the only experience we've had with QSP thus far. And this isn't a bad performing knife. You know, it's just, uh, it's not my style. But this one, on the other hand, I could actually see myself carrying. You know, like, and it's right there in between sizes too. Like it's it's like it's it's got enough handle. It's got enough blade. And you got enough options for finger placement yeah. along the blade. Yeah. If you have got average guy size hands. Absolutely. What about you? Did it fit? You, I mean, does it fit your hands? Like, it, would you? Uh, yeah, this? just not all the options that you have. Yeah. Like it, it does get awkward up here for me holding right here. Like I start losing some some grip in the center of my hand trying to reach up there to get get a grip right there okay but it's good right there still just uh i think this is a little further up to be comfortable with my size hands i understand but other than that yeah it, it's great um so is this is this area right here is this too wide put your put your index finger there yeah i think I think that's what it is. Like it don't want to, it wants to roll wanna, okay, right there okay. whenever I try to use this part. Like, okay. that's but that's the only only thing that just not quite as usable for me as it is for you. Okay, I mean that's understandable. That's that's uh that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Don Farmer. Thank you, Mr. Nick Edward. Don't forget, if you want to check out the inventory, Don Farmer. Uh, DNK knives and go to Nick's channel, watch his video on this knife. He may have some additional information that we've left out. Uh, there are a lot of good videos on this knife. Uh, what was loved in knives has a really good video on this knife as well. Um, but behind the edge, 10, we'll get you 10% off. Well, thank you, everyone involved, and in getting these knives into our possession for review. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.